Don't forget to put it in the fridge so it could chill before serving. What's good YouTube? It's your girl Dean and Nene and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be making some strawberry banana banana pudding. So I have my bananas and I have some strawberries and I want you all to come along with me. Before I get started, go ahead and thumbs up, comment down below and share this video out. I am making this video specifically because McKenzie's moments said that they never had banana, strawberry banana pudding. And I said that I would make some, so here we are. Um, I'm going to make some. This is how I make it. So I'm going to chop the bananas. I like to chop them kind of small because I like a lot of bananas. This is normal as you would with a uh, regular banana pudding. You're just going to add the strawberries in. But I will be making this video for fun. Alright, don't care for bananas. But we got one. I haven't had banana pudding since Patty LaBelle banana pudding, y'all. Patty LaBelle got some good banana pudding. Y'all should try it. They settled at Walmart. So when the banana is like this, I'm going to just cut the whole back off of it. You do not have to throw that banana in the trash. These are bruised bananas, but they can still be used. Now I'm cutting my strawberries.
going to lay my cookies in the pan. I like to lay the cookies kind of flat. I like to line them up around the rim and lay them down. Lay them flat like that. And I didn't see the vanilla ones, so because of the store I went to, so these are the cookies that I'm using. about two boxes. That's my oven ready, my mac and cheese in there. And I'll show y'all what it is, right? I mean, you don't have to do it like this, but if you want it to be extra bread, like, I like it heavy with my bread. You should do it like this if you like a lot of cookies. So do it like that. Now it's time to add the bananas in first and just fill it up. Spread them out good. I used a bunch of, a whole pack of, you know, a whole bunch of bananas. So if you like a lot of bananas, then I suggest you use that. Or if you like less, then use less. Again, this is easy. Do the same thing with the strawberries. And spread them out evenly. This is what we have so far. Now it's time to add the mix that is two boxes so I need four cups of milk because it's two cups of cold milk per box got my measuring cup need to mix it up for five minutes. I'll stir, 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 stir. So, it says two minutes per box, but I'm going to do it for five minutes until it gets thick. My arm is tired, y'all. So, we're going to pour some in. I'm gonna do the same thing for the top layer. I'm gonna spread this evenly and I'm gonna do one more layer, y'all. This is exactly how I did the bottom. Now I 
we'll put tap it off. It has strawberries and the crumbs on the top. I like to save the crumbs. And top it off with some cinnamon. Let's Make sure you thumbs up the video, share it out, and comment down below. Thanks for watching. It's your girl D and Annie. Don't forget to put it in the fridge so it's cheap before serving.